What's up everybody, this is Velardi. Have you ever worked with samples when making beats and then you hear this annoying click or pop noise at the end of the beat looping again and again and you don't know how to fix it? Well, you came to the right place. When we get back, I'm gonna show you how to stop your samples and loops from clicking. All right, so I just got a basic melody here. Right? So right now piano, there's no pops in this at all, which is good. If you want to avoid this, to be honest, you could just keep it as piano roll and just drop it in as a pattern. But if you want to start changing the melody, like pitching it up or down or making it reverse, then I would highly recommend converting it to an audio file. And how we do this is we right click this pattern and we go to quick render as audio clip, or you can do render and replace. I like to press render and replace and um, it'll just pull up this stuff. You could do a wave or an MP3. You can do leave remainder or cut itself. It's up to you. Um, I'm gonna do cut remainder. I just leave all this stuff the same and I press start. And now what it did is it rendered it, which means that it changed it, converted it to an audio file. So now it's a wave file. And this is the pattern file just to show you the comparison. That's the difference. So now this is the wave file. <laughs> Alright, so I don't know if you guys could hear that when I was playing it. There was a big pop noise at the end here. You hear that? You hear that click noise. Let me turn it up so that you can hear it. So that's that pop noise that... I have struggled with. So that's the thing that I've struggled with and I've seen other producers all over struggle with. So this is how we're gonna fix it. First, we have to route this to a uh, mixer track. So I put this on one. So now it's gonna come out through the first mixer track. So right now you just click this in the channel rack, click the, the wave file. Make sure you're in audio by the way too, cause it's not the pattern. We're gonna right click and we're gonna press edit in audio editor. And this is gonna bring up Edison. Right? So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna click this grid thing here and we're gonna go to snap to zero crossing. We don't want it on snap to grid. This way we're gonna have more leeway in how much we wanna select. And it's at the end, right? The pop noise. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go all the way to the end. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hold down command or control if you have a PC and we're going to just click and drag, right? So we're gonna go to this wrench and we're going to go to fade out. And now if we don't get rid of this, it's just gonna keep playing this part right we want to play the rest of it so to get rid of it we're going to press the up arrow key and now it's gone and then we want to press the loop So it sounds like a stop at the end of it because of the fade out. But if you want it to be less of that abrupt stop, you can just fade it out a little bit closer to the end. But if you fade it too close to the end, that pop will still be there. So you got to give it some room. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to this button, click it and hold it down and drag out the new wave file. I'm going to get rid of this one. And here we go. That is how you successfully take the popping out of your samples. Now there's another way that I've talked about before where you could double click this um, if on the old sample and you can go here to the de-clicking mode and press transient bleeding or smooth bleeding. Sometimes that's worked for me and sometimes it doesn't. The fade out method in Edison has worked for me every time recently. If you got value from this video, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you get notified every time I have a new video uploaded. If you wanna watch more tutorials, I'm gonna put a time card up here which will take you to my tutorials playlist. And if you wanna watch any of my free VST videos, then I'm gonna put the link in the description.